Let's also talk about WWE. Those shares are on the move as well this morning and higher by about 12 percent following news that former CEO Vince McMahon is returning to the company. Now, McMahon expects to assume the role of executive chairman of the board and with upcoming media rights negotiations, as well as the demand for live content across all platforms. McMahon said in a statement that the only way for WWE to fully capitalize on this opportunity is for me to return as the executive chairman. Those are his words. And maybe put the company up for sale. Yes. That's the other the other piece of this. And Guggenheim is putting forth some numbers on what, how much WWE could fetch in any sale, whether it's an Amazon, my wild card is a Netflix, but whatever it is, if that, if and when that should happen, uh, Guggenheim sees the best possible scenario for WWE being worth about $133 a share. Even on a, a lower case scenario, about $94 a share, just based on the intellectual property uh, of a WWE. Not only the content they're producing today, but the decades of content that they have produced uh, that many people are still going online watching to this day. Guys, there's a lot of complications here, right? I almost think yeah. of Microsoft with Activision Blizzard and Bobby Kotick and the situation there with all of the sort of alleged abuses that are going on. Because Vince McMahon isn't running the company because of payouts he was allegedly making to women, mm -hmm. um, right? And so he had stepped down after that reporting uh, by the Wall Street Journal. Now, supposedly, he's coming back in. So, you know, yes, he built this thing, but I think any acquirer is going to have to contend with that legacy. And does he stay on and run it? His daughter's been running it, so what does this mean for her? So there's a lot of, like, sort of drama here and an acquirer is going to have to have an appetite, perhaps, for that drama. And it's difficult to see him giving up control in an acquisition situation without still running this property. And, and sort of remind me of that as well, Brendan Ross over at Light, Light Shed Partners said Endeavor could be an acquirer of WWE. Endeavor, which also owns UFC, which has its own um, sort of founder drama that's happening right now in the form of Dana White. So... I don't know. I don't know who. I think that that really adds a complication here. Well, yeah. Due diligence will have to be uh, deeply, deeply done to expose any, if they are there. Due any, diligence, but then what do you what, do about what, what, what it? Do you do? Right. What do you do about it? Yeah, and a penchant for PR nightmares. Yes. So it would have to absolutely do the due diligence, but then just be ready for everything that's about to get thrown its way on the PR front, too. Yeah.